Using the preset views in the Evolution Animal Diversity Unit in Visible Biology, it's easy to compare body systems across four different species. Today, we'll look at the digestive systems of the sea star, earthworm, frog, and pig to see how these animals eat and digest the nutrients they need to live. Let's start with the sea star. There are roughly 2,000 species of sea stars. Some prey on mollusks, and some eat decaying organic matter. The sea star's mouth is located on its oral surface, and its anus is located on the aboral surface. Sea stars can ingest small food particles through the mouth, and they can push the cardiac stomach out of the mouth to engulf larger prey or penetrate shelled prey. From the mouth and cardiac stomach, food moves into the pyloric stomach. In the pyloric stomach, enzymes secreted by the pyloric cecum break down the food. Then, the pyloric ducts carry waste to the anus, where it is released from the sea star's body. Now let's look at the earthworm. Earthworms live in soil and get their nutrients from organic matter such as plants, bacteria, and fungi. An earthworm's digestive system is tube-shaped, starting at the mouth and ending at the anus. After food is ingested through the mouth, muscular contractions in the pharynx move it into the esophagus, and then into the crop, where it is stored. Then it moves into the gizzard, where stones grind it down, and then into the intestine. The intestine runs most of the length of the earthworm's body, and it secretes enzymes that break down the proteins, polysaccharides, cellulose, and fat from food. Waste is excreted from the earthworm's anus. Now we'll move on to the vertebrates, starting with the frog. Frogs eat small invertebrates, such as insects, worms, and spiders. A frog uses its long, retractable tongue to catch live prey, which it holds in its mouth, or oral cavity, before swallowing it. After swallowing, food moves through the pharynx to the esophagus, where muscle contractions transport it to the stomach. In the stomach, digestive enzymes begin the chemical breakdown of the food. After this, the food passes into the small intestine, where bile and pancreatic juice continue to break down fats, carbohydrates, and proteins so that nutrients can be absorbed. Fat bodies in the frog's body cavity allow it to store nutrients for long periods. In the frog's large intestine, water is reabsorbed and waste solidifies before being excreted through the cloaca and anus. The cloaca also excretes urine from the excretory system and gametes from the reproductive system. Lastly, we have the digestive system of the pig. Pigs are omnivores and consume a wide variety of animals and plants. Their long snouts allow them to root around in the soil to find food, which they chew before swallowing. Chewed food passes through the oral cavity and pharynx and then moves down the esophagus and into the stomach, where digestive juices break it down. From there, it moves into the small intestine, where nutrients are absorbed. Like frogs and humans, the pig has a liver and gallbladder that secrete bile, and a pancreas that secretes pancreatic juices. Once nutrients have been absorbed, food moves into the large intestine, where water is reabsorbed into the body and waste moves through the rectum to be excreted from the anus. Compare other body systems between these animals with the Evolution Animal Diversity Unit in Visible Biology by using our lab activities, flashcards, and tours. Contact our education team for a free instructor code to try it with your class.